Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Abdul Hadi Win Abdurrahman. Assalamualaikum. I'm Radha Fazila binti Ahmad. Assalamualaikum. My name is Nisha Pikmal. Hello. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Afika binti Azmi. My name is Muhammad Azmir Umar bin Kamar Zamai. Today, we are going to do an outward analysis of selected outward by our group. The outward analysis method or system that we are going to use is Batman theory of art criticism. So, what is Batman theory of art criticism? This theory is proposed or made by Edmund Feldman in 1970. One of the objective or goal of creating this system is that Feldman believes if art students can think and talk intelligently about art, it will promote the interest about it better to them. The Feldman system of criticism is a collecting and translating process for making conclusions or generalities from the available evidence. His model of criticism has served as a model in four stages for making statements about a world of art, which is description, analysis, interpretation, and judgment. Description is the first stage of Feldman theory of art criticism. It is an observation about what they, the critic, see in the artwork objectively with no inference or expression of personal opinion. Second stage is analysis, where critics express their thought about the message of the artwork which relies on the critic knowledge of the element of art and principle of design together in knowledgeable system, the information seen in the uh, in a work of art. Next is interpretation. In this stage, the critic express their opinion about what they think the artist is trying to say by describing what it means to them, how it makes them feel, or what expressive quality the piece has. Last is judgment, where the critics state their own opinion about the work of art. The artwork assess whether the piece is a success or failure in delivering the messages to viewers. The objective of this artwork analysis are to investigate the selected artwork by based on Feldman theory art of analysis as a guidance. Other than that is to identify the relationship of the subject matter with the medium and technique used in the artwork. Lastly, to understand and appreciate the content and the context of the artwork the artist delivered that happened during the period of the artwork created. Assalamualaikum. My name is Azmin. Muhammad Azmin Umur Bikam Razaman. Okay, next. Um, background of artwork. Um, Ismail Mausin is a chosen artist. Ismail Mausin was a Malaysian activist who lived from 1938 to 2015. He was a batik painter who produced his untimely demise in July 2015. He took weekly art painting seasons at Padang Garo Malay School in Kota Baru with Nick Mahmoud and he was also a protege of Khalil Ibrahim. Uh, he is the only remaining batik painter in Kelantan who used this technique. He became a full-time artist in 1968 until he started work as a graphic designer come in stressor with Syarikat Percetakan Diat at Kota Baru from 1979 to 1991. He was also a member of Angkatan Pelukis Semenanjung APS, Kelantan Chapter and Persatuan Seni Lukis Kelantan Perseni. Um, about Ismail, next is about the Ismail Mahusen artwork, the style and the technique. Ismail Mahusen is known for fishing, fishing and muscular, muscular, muscular skeleton performance version of traditional Malay life that fascinates with a focus on arts and craft produced in compositions such as mosaic or crack dozens. He became a very good at batik painting. Uh, the patients with anger and natural talent for combining warm colors and shades of green from a limited color palette to depict everyday rural skin with lively good humor. Um, Khalil, uh, is my mom saying, um, from the, the, the artwork, he used the element of uh, cultural element of um, activities, Malay activities from past, such as like, um, uh, play the gasing, um, play the wow, kites, uh, and others. Khalil was trained 
trained in rendering human figures and Ismail follow suit. But he did not embrace Khalil's likely style's, style's depiction of them. Um, Ismail Mausin is Khalil Ibrahim protege. So the proof is you can see the style, uh, the style difference from this to artist work. From uh, uh from the left is the Ismail Mausin work, and the right is the uh, Khalil Ibrahim work. In, entitled as Cause Figures 2004. Um, from this work, we can see uh, through the subject of matter, uh, the artist paint with which is the uh, the human figure. Human figure paint by Ismail, he used line technique uh, and contour line technique. While Khalil Ibrahim used the ala prima style, which is a paint that application apply directly from the tube. And the surface of the style subject is flat and has no texture. Um, then, uh, in terms of color, Ismail Mak Hussein used a uh, groomy colors. He also used monochrome colors to produce value in his work. While Khalid Ibrahim used colors that uh, vibrance and harmony. Um, Ismail Tremar is heavy limbs with the muscle render mosaic like on every part of the body that is visible. In, outline, in outlining the muscles, Khalil influence can be seen but Khalil does not break the muscles into the pieces. Um, language features, uh, postures and fluidity in the movement of the figures is apparent in the work of both Khalil and Ismail. Look at that Ismail Batik painting. Uh, once it's really real looking people rather than the doll like figures. We draw them into the spotlight. Khalil tends to suppose the figures again vibrant solid colors as what I see before. Where where uh Ismail does the background surroundings use the uh, grooming grooming effect. Analysis and finding. In this part I will present the description of the artwork. The title of this artwork is Weaving 1998, Paint on Batik, the size 112 times 120 cm. This artwork is using enduring and warm color mostly brown and a bit of white. As you can see in this artwork, there is two women and a baby in a cradle at the back. This artwork also shows lots of woven mats and sarongs at the back. This artwork focus on the foreground which is two women in batik sarongs were sitting while weaving mats together. Analysis element of art. Batik is not longer coincide from of art. User solid for textile and material to adorn the body, but it has evolved into a form of artist and visual uh, precision. The came and sorting earth toner or uh, something is my Emma Use have a prolivity form using them for turn in his work. Next, principle of art. Bate art is special because bate is one of the traditional art culture that was born and developed in the Malay and related with the code of its inhabitant. Motive that of ten on the space the body of a sorrow is of course a neat motif next is the interpretations the next uh, the interpretations uh, we use the two method which is the literal meaning and the implicit meaning um, from this work entitled weaving year 1998 a uh, medium batik painting um, what Ismail Mat Hussein want to tell or convey in his artwork is that he wants to record and bring back the nostalgia of the community on the East Coast. 
especially the community that with uh, mengkuang nets. This could um, um, describe the life of a family that work in net weaving. Um, they said that, uh, uh, for example, we can see the uh, a mother and the, her child uh, mat, uh, weaving the mat. Okay. Um, this uh, is my is my one is my one to tell people about the culture of clothing, clothes, which is um the people that wear baju kurung. Baju kurung. Um, and then there is also batik clothes that is used as a um swing, a uh, batik. Uh, swing clothes to wear and a baby swing that use the batik clothes. The I also want to show the architectural heritage of the Malay traditional Malay house before it is seen in the work of the balcony. Windows are carved in the wood. Then the implied meaning. Um, um, it's my will say want to. Ismail Mat Hussein want to bring back the nostalgia of the community on the East Coast, uh, especially the um, cultural, cultural activities, Malay activities. Um, the captivating world require a trip to rural village, villages where women make a living by weaving mats. This work presents a serenity reminiscence of past and daily experiences of people on the East Coast. Calm, you can see a uh, calm and soothing color, soothing earth stone, um, gloomy, something that is my Hussein tends to possess, often using in his work. Thank you. Judgment. The judgment is divided into three which is imitationalism, formalism, and emotionalism. The first one is imitationalism. Is the artist successfully imitated the character of the person who is weaving mats and reminisces of the past and daily experience of people in the East Coast. Next, Formalism. The artist successfully used the element and principle in this artwork. For example, the repetition of pattern on mats and batik that represent harmonies. The last one is emotionalism. The artist successfully used the enduring and warm color, which is the calm and soothing earthy tones that present tranquility in this artwork. Okay, uh, the conclusion is uh, this for this work is successfully successful because Bati is uh, is no longer considered and stand, standard sub standard for of art used uh, solely for textile and material to adore the body. But it has evolved into a form and artistic and visual appreciation. Ismail Mat Hussein is one of the permanent artists who incorporated batik into his paintings and influenced his entire being into his work, making the feel as if they know the artist himself. Just we, just by uh, looking at the painting, uh, is is both enduring, enduring and warm. This enduring work take uh, one of a journey journey to the rural kampongs whose ladies make a living of wearing tikas. This piece uh, present tranquility remain search of the past and daily experiments of people 
in the S court. The calms and saltings earth earth tones are something Ismail Mat Hussein has a facility for using them of them in his work. Uh, recommendation uh, we need to give deeper into culturally characteristic artwork in uh, order to be preserved. We need to supposedly perceive the culturally oriented artwork so they is twisted continues to be preserved. We need to supposedly prevent to culturally written artwork to the today if can sure continues to be preserved. Uh, that's all. Uh, thank you.